Oh. What Derrick Henry's doing right now? What's that? People are wondering about who's the quarterback, who's this, who's that. Mm -hmm. Derrick Henry's like, y'all motherfuckers have forgot. The Tennessee Titans go through the defensive end that plays running back. Yeah. And now he's running up hills. That's right. This dude's training by sprinting up hills. And by the looks of him, okay, from the way his body is built, we should assume that he's been doing this his entire life. Yeah. This is Nuts. battling gravity. This is fighting Earth. Yep. This is conquering something that is very difficult to do. We can go through a list of people that run hills and what their success was. How about Walter Payton? He was pretty fucking good. Yeah. I'd say, oh, yeah. I'd say How about Jerry Rice? He was pretty fucking good. Yeah. Huh? Uh, yeah. LaDainian Tomlinson did it because Jerry Rice did it. Set the right. record. Trent Williams did it. Ooh, pretty pretty good. good. Adrian Dog. Peterson did it. What? We assumed Dan Marino, Joe Montana, and everybody from the city of Pittsburgh did it because yeah. literally we were forced to do it growing up. And if you look at most people, I think from very hilly places, you're probably going to see a rather fatter ass. Mm -hmm. and West that's, Virginia. That, that's because, yep, mm -hmm. West Virginia Mountaineers, literally. All humans going to be a little thicker because we're doing the fucking Stairmaster literally yeah. all day. Yeah. As kids growing up, walking yeah. around. Now, some people are going to be built lean, okay? Of course. Nick's got little baby legs, all right? Mm -hmm. Foxy, obviously, has never had to battle gravity one time while walking. No running nope. hills. This guy's got toothpicks for legs. He's literally the H&M model mannequin That's right. out there. He looks so cool, though, when yeah. he gets dressed. Oh, yeah. Not a lot of hills where I'm from, to your point. But the hills are a great fucking training tool. And I think the people that are open about it believe in it so much because of how much it, they feel it has helped them. Once you start running on, it's like you run with weights. It's a little bit harder. Yeah. yeah. You start running up hills, not only your muscles growing, but once you get on flat land, you're all the way back. You can talk about that when you drive through, like, Ohio or Indiana, mm -hmm. and then you go back to Pittsburgh. It's like life is a lot easier when everything's flat. Yeah. When you can't really see what's around the bend or uh, have to <laughs> battle against a, a fucking steep incline, it makes you better. Derrick Henry's ready to prove a point, you think? My fucking kids run the hills, too. Let's go. Let's yeah, go. hell yeah. Um, I'm a big believer in it. it, it it's over speed. Um, make you run really faster when you run sh uh, on regular. It's like running in sand. Yeah. yeah. It makes running harder. Oh. Yeah. That's exactly I got right. a nice one by my house. My kids run every Wednesday. They're going to be on that motherfucker today, too. <laughs> hey, good luck yeah. out there, Junie. Yeah, yeah, good luck. <laughs> hey, Junie, you want to keep winning those races? Hey. Run the hill. Junie, who is Pac-Man Jr. Yeah. He's six years old? Yep. Hey. Well, he's five. Sorry, he ain't six yet. He running six and nine. He's five. Oh, he's racing six-year-olds right now. Has raced seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm just learning about what humans look like at these different ages. <laughs> sure. Not been around a, a lot of kids in Learned. my life. It's not really my thing. No. About to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Big time. So I'm trying to learn as much as possible about, like, what are expectations at what age? Just seen a 15-year-old girl assigned to the U.S. Women's National Team. It's like, okay, if my baby girl happens to be good at soccer and likes to do that, it's like, yeah. all right, here's the <laughs> hey, here. Here is blueprint. possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is possible. Yes, it is. Like, that's a big deal to have. That's good inspiration. His kid, we got real form. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We got, like, real speed, too. Flying. He's going to be a dog, huh? Yeah, he's going to be a dog. June's going to be a dog, man. He's got personality, too. Yeah. This dude's a dog. He watched the clip back yesterday from us talking about him. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. he talked shit immediately. They started dad. running. I was like, yo, look at this. He's like, seen that guinea? It's like that. I'm famous. I'm like, no, no fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Fucking get your eyes back to work. <laughs> hey, Junie, you're about to be, man. Keep winning those races. Hell yeah, yeah. Junie. Uh, but shout out to Derrick Henry getting after it. He was kind of forgotten about a little bit of an afterthought. Was he hurt last year? What happened to him last year? Damn. We didn't really talk about him. So they, they lost did. their best guard, Rumblock and Saffold. He went to the Bills. Taylor now, Lewan got hurt. And now they've yep. lost Taylor ben Lewan. Jones now they also, yeah, they released Ben Jones. He's not on the team anymore. The Titans are unfortunately kind of fucked. But, um, it's like. Lost A.J. Brown, too, so like, yeah. he was kind of just... And what's know, his name? Pat got hurt yeah. uh, out of Arkansas. Is the body or... still the same? You look like you see him running. Yeah, yeah. He, he looks fine. I think we should be more worried about Will Levis possibly uh, injuring an abdomen on a handoff because he might <laughs> slam the ball what's in his stomach deal? so hard. What's your problem? That's just what we've heard. It's a good year. It's a good year. Last year, he had uh, wow. 1,500 fucking oh, yards. Shit. He had a hit, a hit. 13 touchdowns. Oh, yeah. Didn't even talk about it. We are so sorry, Derek. For no, a point. And they, they, were, they started to fucking stink. Yeah, they weren't good. Dude, and also he was running against what, like eight man boxes? Uh, at least, yeah. Because there's a no AJ Brown, nothing. Mm -hmm. There was a report from uh, Albert yeah. Greer, literally like five minutes before we went on. I saw apparently uh, that they were also in the mix to go up to three to try to get CJ Stroud, and that was not 
It's not something that happened for them. Okay, so they were thinking about doing that. All the mocks had them going to three to yeah. get a quarterback. If the Houston Texans had passed on C.J. Stroud at two, which they did, mm -hmm. Tennessee Titans, here we go! Yeah! And then Houston's like, nah, we're taking three, too. What are we, mm -hmm. <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> what are we, what are we even talking about? Out. And then they get C.J. Stroud, and then the Colts are up, obviously, with Anthony Richardson. I think they had that pick in their head and mine immediately upon meeting him, I think. Yeah. I think the Colts. Sounds like yeah. it. But the Titans, we never talked about. They're going to be problematic if Derrick Henry's running like this, and they have any production at all on the offense. Did they add to the? Did they add weapons to that team? I don't think so. The AFC South may really be. Who is the quarterback? For who? Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill. Who gives a fuck? Pull up the. Hey, pull up the. Make Tannehill beat it. So they got they got strong. They got Skronsky should help the O line for sure. Traylon Burks was hurt. Well, he got that concussion last year when he actually scored the touchdown, which was pretty. Oh yeah, that was awesome. Who's gonna help Tannehill? Other than that, exactly. They really don't have any people, and the Jaguars are casually filthy. It feels like the Jags in the South. Ridley too. The way he it feels like Calvin Ridley feels. Listen, it's gonna be a two head monster. All right. It's going to be the Indianapolis Colts, obviously. Oh, oh really? <laughs> obviously. Not the team that had two two picks in the top three? They, had, they took some nice wideouts, too. You're right. It's going to be a three-headed monster. We don't know. Actually, nobody wants to see the AFC South right now. <laughs> really? No. You know how they talk about some divisions AP? having three guys or three teams make the playoffs with mm -hmm. wild card because the record's so good? Mm -hmm. Hello from the AFC South. Wow. That's going to be us. Wait till you see what Anthony Richardson does here. I'm jacked up for it. Don't Wait get me Wait till you see what C.J. Stroud does down in Houston, what D'Amico's able to do mm -hmm. with that defense and team that they got down. Will Anderson? What? Yeah. This guy was number two overall pick. That's right. Freak. And then Trevor Lawrence, once he started playing football with a coach, he yeah. was good. Yeah, he's pretty good. In the NFL. Yeah, they're balling. You know what I mean? I was talking about Tannehill, but nobody has stopped Derrick Henry in that division over there as far as rushing. I'm I'm talking about quarterbacks now. Tannehill can't throw the ball, but as far as the division, yeah, I think Derrick Henry owns that division. So there was actually a game a couple years back where uh, DeForest Buckner was announced out against the Tennessee Titans. Mm -hmm. What was that like two days before yeah. the game? Three days before the game? Oh. And as soon as we heard that, DeForest Buckner obviously dog in the middle. Mm -hmm. He's a great player. Big. I think he's a good person to have. So big on this Indianapolis Colts team. He is so. He, they walk out of that fucking tunnel. He is so massive of a human. Mammoth. He's out there. I think Derrick Henry rushed for 240 yards or something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe five touchdowns that night. Yeah, yeah and then last year. That, I, those are not the actual stats, but he <laughs> he took the fucking game over. It is That is what the Titans have that nobody else has, though, with Derrick Henry. Now, there's probably other running backs that could potentially do this and get into this. Now, with the stable, the way offenses are being run, I don't know how often this is going to happen. But they can actually beat you down. So, like, the thought that Will Levis is now in there mm -hmm. in the way he operates, mm -hmm. you know, with how pumped up and jacked up he is, they, like, relish in beating you down. Vrabel will stick with the run game even into the third quarter if they're down losing and the run game hasn't worked. In the first half, only averaging 1.8 yards yep. or, like, 2.1 yards. And it's like, hey, we are down two scores. Some teams, most teams, panic. Hey, we need to start throwing the ball. We need to kind of get rid of the run. We can get rid of the run, and we won't have to, like, answer for it because the averages were low, so we can easily say we wanted to run. We couldn't run, mm -hmm. so we had to go to the pass game. That's what a lot of offense coordinators say whenever they get super pass happy and it doesn't work out. They will come out right at the third quarter and be like, again? Yeah. And, and they will literally <laughs> just what? And at some point, the defenses get tired. Now, with no weapons – None. You can just put eight in the box, yeah. and you're not just beating down one or two people the entire game, and then something's popping out. You're trying to beat down an entire defense. So they got to get some sort of production from the arm, but getting rid of A.J. Brown, maybe that fucked Tannehill, too. Uh, you know absolutely. I mean? that, that, oh, for sure. That doesn't help him in this whole thing. What, and he's yeah, a guy who had to go away, remember? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He had to go away because how hard playoffs, I lost him. Yeah. So he's all in. The year before that, we played them in the playoffs with A.J. Brown and packed the box. And Tannehill couldn't make a throw. Oh, yeah, down there. Yeah, Joe Burrow got sacked nine yes. times. Yeah, mm -hmm. We whooped their ass. Wow. We played man-to-man -man the whole game. I mean, man-to-man. AJ by himself. Tannehill couldn't make a fucking comeback throw to save his life. Well, that's right. that day. Yeah, that's that's I mean, that's why they drafted a the quarterback. They right. know. But everything you're just saying about the Titans, it feels like that's what the Colts are going to be with Jonathan Taylor and Anthony Richardson. Like, they so might like run four, the, 240, is that what Yeah, they yeah. might run the ball 50, 60 times a game. We got a dog, too. Mm-hmm. 
And you got weapons. Like uh, in comparison to the Titans. Hey, look out! Look yeah. out! Look out! Look God. out! Maybe it's maybe uh, sprinkle a little mana mm-hmm. on the Colts to win the Super Bowl. Okay. Certainly. You don't, maybe you don't have to put okay. much money maybe down to get a good return on them. Okay, thank yeah. you. Two dollars. Uh, well, think? these are futures bets. There's a lot of great odds in futures bets. Thank you. Oh, they're the third worst in the league. Oh, okay. <laughs> Plus eighty five hundred. But they jump value. Uh, 